so we are back in review view for another video, another innovation, and yeah, another messy one. So, so I've uh, started uh, tackling that area, that district here. It's mostly a residential lot area, and all the houses are very similar. So when I'm renovating them, making them over, I am trying to use the same ideas, uh, features every time. Uh, so same windows, same um, wall textures and so on. So I've started with this one, got previous episode, I'm going to pin on the screen the playlist. I'm making over also the, the world only a bit. I mean, I'm just changing uh, the texture of the roads and resizing the lots when they are too big in my opinion. <laughs> so that's what I'm doing here in that district. So what's going on is that I'm making over the house on the lot it is on here, so with that size, and that's the, the one I'm sharing in that video, so the makeover version of that house. Uh, yeah, I'm doing this one. I don't remember if I've, if I've said it. I'm doing this one today. In save file with all the renovation I've made, it's going to be a same type of makeover, so the same makeover but on smaller lots. I'm going to redo the makeover on a smaller lot for the save file. A bit of a messy uh, explanation, but it's going to be about the house today. Let's check it out in Edit Town. So since this one, just like the, the previous one, is not inhabited, uh, I'm just I'm going to remove most of the furniture. Great room, great Dane. Five bedrooms. Oh my gosh, <laughs> five bedrooms. Okay, three and a half bathroom, and they will explain the size. Forty by thirty, bigger than most houses in its subdivision. This house maintains its calm exterior while giving you large spaces inside in which to romp around in. Okay, so I already know I'm going to have it uh, on foundation, so it's not the case here, uh, but I'm going to do also a fake hill there, like, 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 I like that it's a bit above the street uh, for the whole uh, block. Here, so I'm going to do similarly than here. I also go with uh, the arched doorway. Do I move this here? I see a door. So no, that might just be the corridor. I don't know why they put the, the bay window corridor level. Like what, why is it not for the living room? That would seem more logical to me. <laughs> I don't know. Okay, so then, ooh, windows on the side. The backyard, it's quite narrow. I don't know if it goes up to the end of the lot and there is a pathway there leading to the backyard. Oh, okay, there is a balcony and all. So that I did not have on the other one, so I don't know. So I'm going to go with siding, same siding, with the same uh, wall here. I'm going to change the windows. Okay, let's go inside. Sure, going to do an overview like that. Okay, so there is a hallway. That's great. That window, I would, I'm going to move it there. And there is room for a three wide window, totally. So, no excuses. There is a bit of a study area over there. And then living room, same, exactly the same. Um, fireplace. All the looking living room, so I'm going to remove the, 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 the furniture. So just going to keep some counters maybe for to to show that it, the kitchen is supposed to be there. But yeah, that would be perfect for the laundry uh, here. Do I do like just a small room for the toilet? Half bathroom. That is not a real wall. It's going to be removed with the, the staircase, so, okay. And access to the garage. The backyard could be, uh, could be bigger, but, okay. Then upstairs, so there should be five bedrooms. 
I'm curious to see how how it's laid out. Okay. Wow. <laughs> I was like, this ba bedroom has two bathrooms. Okay. So let's say that's the parents' bedroom, maybe. Okay. Actually, like the the wallpaper and even the bed. Well, I like the bedroom. I'm not a fan of the carpet, but okay. Bathroom. Second bathroom. I like that there are different styles too. Um, and what they did with the bathtub area. Then we go, okay, there is another bathroom here. Oh, that's not a bedroom, so they even have room for a study. Okay, and seems here I have to share a bedroom, okay. <laughs> the bedrooms are, I mean, they are a nice size. So this one is going to take me longer. I'll keep a, a larger staircase like that because with that many seams uh, that can possibly live there, uh, they need a, a larger staircase uh, so there are less routing issues. I might move it like here and then that would make... I might. <laughs> I'll keep the rooms divided the same way. So there is not really a dining room, there's just a dining corner in the kitchen. But I might move the stairs here and have the bathroom, half bathroom here. And in that case, I might have like two bedrooms there with a smaller bathroom. Oh, I'll see. Okay, so these are the main ideas. I'm going to start on uh, this uh, renovation and then once I'm done with uh, this one I'm going to do the smaller version in the work in progress river view. Let's start on this one. So of course uh, making it over first so the, uh, the original build and I've uh, uh, put it on foundation so I'm rebuilding every floor on the upper floor so the first floor on the second floor the second floor on the third floor and then adding foundation just one step above ground so it's not the big one it's just one just a small one <laughs> so that's it's a tad taller but not that taller and also it's uphill now so it is a taller house and I made it a bit bigger. I think I've extended it a, like one tile on the left side. Uh, I might have done that for all the houses. So I'm done making over all the empty houses in that neighborhood and uh, I'm going to try and have all the episodes in a row, uh, like maybe the same week or something like that, because it's basically the same thing <laughs> again and again. I'm just with um, a little variation every time because I'm trying to do a cover, so keeping the the uh, characteristics of each house. Uh, so, for instance, this one is bigger with the the the, the bedrooms oh, down now two bedrooms. Uh, above the garage. Also, when I was doing the the second one, so the small one, the big one is on the the one up for download uh, in this video is on a 40 by 30 lot, and the smaller one that is going to be in the safe file is on a 30 by 30. So not that smaller, but still a tad smaller. <laughs> And uh, uh, yeah, when I was doing the the second version, so the version for the save file, I, I added a garage. So there are now two uh, parking spaces in the garage and two garage doors. Uh, so uh, I haven't done that when I was doing the, the makeover itself. I just um, did that in the other version and then went back to that version and added a garage there too so that they would be quite similar uh, buildings. 
and uh, what else? So I moved the stairs in this one, and I moved one of the bathrooms here. I moved it uh, on the main uh, wing of the of the building, so that there would be two bedrooms there, because having two bathrooms next to each other, even though they weren't opening on the same uh, rooms, um, I don't know. It was it was. Um, it's something weird to me, <laughs> so I, I thought that it would be better to have the other bathroom. So I actually removed one of the bedrooms. No, there still are five bedrooms, so one of them is a study. I've kept some of the pieces of furniture that were there because I, I thought they were pretty. Um, but I removed all those. There is one bedroom that is going to be empty. That's where I'm going to leave that bathroom. and. The two bedrooms above the garage and two others plus the study office on the face uh, in the main wing with two other two might have no no three three bathrooms so one ensuite for the main ba bedroom and uh, two accessible from the hallway and then there is a half bathroom downstairs where I've also uh, so I've uh, adjusted a bit the, the staircase area and so there's going to be a half bathroom and um, a laundry corner here a nook uh, in the kitchen for the laundry and access to the garage then also done the, the terrace the deck here uh, as I had done in, uh, in the previous uh, house. I'm going to do that in all of them. So then starting the customized version, so it's smaller lot, 30 by 30, and it's going to be placed at the same, uh, in the same area. Um, there is a lot in between now, uh, that house and the one I did previously. Also, this one doesn't have a fence in cradle wall so it's just everything is on the lot because it was big enough and there is no house uh, sticking to it like you know that not, not uh, that they, they don't have a shared wall with uh, or a shared fence with another lot because there is a pathway running uh, next to the house um, but for the other houses I've used a pathway by the way, <laughs> I've used a fence in Cradle World that I got from uh, Ru um, years ago. So I'll talk about that in the pre next previous in the next um, Cradle World episode on Riverview things I'm doing over Riverview in uh, in uh, Cradle World. So I'll talk about that. But yeah, I'm, I'm using a fence that I've recolored slightly so that it would match the fence uh, in, for the different lots in that neighborhood and uh, also so this lot is smaller all the lots the, all the empty lots have remade on a smaller version like a smaller lot uh, the one that are occupied uh, inhabited I haven't to change the, the size so the makeover I'm going to do there I've already started I'm done with Lorraine Cantina's house I've, uh, I've made it over already and there are two other ones I haven't done yet but uh, yeah I'm leaving them on, on bigger lots uh, so I'm just going to do one version of them. So the empty ones, since they are quite fast to do, well, uh, quick episodes, I'm going to do, yeah, I'm pre pretty sure I'm going to do all of them uh, to have them out the same week. I think the next one, well, I haven't done the, the tour at the end yet, but this is going to be quick, uh, is like less than 10 minutes long. <laughs> so, so yeah, that quick ones, because I'm not really furnishing inside. Here, um, the version, so adding the garage, just there, uh, and adding to the garage, because there was already an existing garage, just, just a door, um, 
some more space for um, another car because it's a big house. So yeah, I was saying that since I'm not keeping the furniture in most of these, they are pretty quick, not doing the interior design. But for the version uh, that is up for the moon right now, the bigger version, I've left uh, some of uh, the pieces because they look very pretty and I like the, the wallpapers too, so most of them. <laughs> so I left, I think all of them now, are just slight changes. Uh, so that we would, uh, you wouldn't have like a wooden board, a floorboard uh, up in the air. Here is the result for the smaller one, and then let's go on a tour of the other one. So this is the version of for the load on a 30 by 40 lot. The front facade, the back of the house, uh, the backyard is a bit bigger and also added a dog house because my intention is to add a, a dog to the households already in there, uh, already in that neighborhood. So that's what I did for Lorraine. Um, but for the empty houses, uh, since I don't know who is living there, I just this one I've added a, a dog house. That's because all the houses are named after a dog breed. And the balcony wasn't sure really about the style because it's the only one with a balcony so far I've made. Oh no, there is another one with a balcony coming up later. So there is an access to the garage, don't remember if there were before. And for the back doors, now those two, a bit, the style is a bit different. Uh, I wasn't sure about this one, we're, we're going to try and see, but that can be changed easily. Grill area, so the terrace here. And I've kept uh, the lawn chairs, I think, were already there. Those uh, armchairs were inside, but since it's a covered balcony here, I thought, why not outside? So let's see the new layout uh, with that first floor I left the car. So there are two parking spaces. And there is room for, like, for instance, bicycle racks or tinkering tools, I don't know, some workshop anything <laughs> even uh, maybe an access to a basement so yeah you, it can be extended that house easily then uh, back in the main wing there is the hallway here so i left space here for a closet for instance and there is a small bathroom half bathroom here two archways this one leading to the big living room and this one leading to the kitchen and dining area that can even be two dining rooms uh, the laundry corner is there terrace over there then let's go upstairs so upstairs i've kept uh, most of the beds i think i removed only the single ones and then the staircase moved so it used to be here it's now over there and I put the bathroom here also because I wanted to use that, that uh, window above the entryway. So all the houses are a bit bigger. I think it's because mostly of the entryway because the arched entryway like that, uh, it's four wide. So sometimes when I add it to the houses I'm making over, it, it, um, it shifts the width over there so on either side actually. So I need to have more so that it's more, it looks okay. <laughs> but there was room here to do so. So back upstairs, so there are five bedrooms. Big one here with ensuite bathroom. A small one here could be a nursery, for instance, or maybe you can move the, the office over there. And then two other bathroom, hallway bathrooms, and uh, office could be a ba bedroom, bedroom, bedroom. No attic, but again, one could be easily added. And then that's it for the house and for that video. Next one is going to be a quick one, huh? Tikap Chihuahua, I think. That's it for this one. Link in the description box below. I'll see you in the next video, hopefully tomorrow. Uh, I'll see you then. Adam. Thank <laughs> you.